Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, we're going to look at a very special math book. This book is not like other math books. The book is called The Problem and Practice Arithmetics Advanced Book. This book is extremely eye-opening. Um, I was really, really impressed when I first looked in this book because of the type of math that this book contains. Sure, it's a book on arithmetic, arithmetic, but it is very, very different from what you would expect. Let's take a look inside this book. Okay, so this is the inside of the cover, the Problem and Practice Arithmetics Advanced Book. You see it's written by David Eugene Smith, Teachers College, Columbia University, Eva May Luce, Iowa State, and Edward Longworth Morse, editor of Mathematical Textbooks, Gin and Company. Really, really old school stuff. Okay, so this is the table of contents. Check this out. So chapter one, earning, spending, and saving money. So it says, arithmetic objective, review of the types of computations that people use in everyday life, right? So it's really, really interesting stuff. It talks about earning money, spending money, making money work. In other words, interest and saving money. Chapter two is on using percents in business. I love how it's two words. And the arithmetic, arithmetic objective is percentage applied to simple mercantile problems. It talks about problem solving, buying and selling on commission, discounts on wholesale purchases, the merchant and his problems, borrowing money, graphs, and statistics. So really useful math that anyone can use, right? This book has stuff that anyone in the entire world uh, can use, not just uh, math people. Chapter 3 is on banks and investments. talks about, oh, what's the arithmetic objective? The computations used by the individual in banking and investing money. Cool. Doing business with the bank, interest and notes, how money is sent, Stocks and bonds. It's a math book. It talks about stocks and bonds. Completely ridiculous. Protecting investments by insurance. Let's turn the page. Chapter 4 is Our Government and Ourselves. Arithmetic Objective. The computations needed by the citizen in his relations with the government. Her core. The cost of government. Supporting the government. What the government does for us. Right. Really interesting perspective. Chapter 5. Problems about industry and science talks about food supply, power supply. Chapter 6 is on measurements. Okay, let's get into the book because it's really, really interesting. Here's a simple question on how much the government spends. The United States government is a business of tremendous size. Its expenses vary from year to year, but they now average about $3,750,000,000 a year. Taking 365 days to the year, Find to the nearest $1 million the expenses per day. So really interesting math, right? So when you're watching the news and you see that the government spends, you know, this many billions, um, maybe we don't think about this. How much do they spend per day, right? So just a practical computation. And this is a book on arithmetic, right? So it really does provide uh, a really interesting perspective into math and into uh, life. This book actually talks about corporations and stocks. A group of five businessmen are organizing a company to manufacture a new style of traffic light. They will need $150,000 as capital to start work. How many shares, par value 100, will the company need to issue? So you actually figure out uh, how many shares you need to issue in order to start a company. In a book on arithmetic, completely amazing. There's actually a section on transportation. It talks about ancient and modern methods. Really, really interesting. So you see we have different ways of transporting a burden, right? Donkey, oxen, a wheelbarrow, early sailing boat, horse, and wagon. It basically says, in each of the following cases, find how long it takes to carry a burden 10 miles at the given rates per hour. Really, really, really cool. It continues here with more word problems uh, regarding speed of transportation. Then it talks about transportation by automobile and has more problems there. Let me just go ahead and, and turn the page so you can see. This is really interesting. And it talks about transportation by air, and then transportation by water, and has problems regarding that. I mean, everything is here. Then it goes into the cost of shipping goods. Then it has actual science problems, right? The scientist's use of arithmetic. Let's read this together. The scientist in his laboratory makes frequent use of arithmetic, but most of his problems are too difficult for boys and girls in your grade. In the following pages, you will find some interesting problems explaining the scientific principles involved in everyday things about what you already know. 
And then he goes on and gives some, some actual word problems. Really great stuff. This is really interesting. It actually gives you a method for finding the square root. It says, this example shows how to find the square root of 655.36 by the method on page 293. Study it carefully and compare the work step by step with the summary given below. So really, really interesting. It tells you how to find square roots without a calculator, right? That is a lost skill. It actually appears that this book has answers to all of the problems. So the book comes with a full solutions manual. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's really, really helpful uh, for self-study because you can check your answers. You know you did it right because you can check your answer in the back of the book. This is especially useful for, for these types of problems because they're all computational. So it's really nice to be able to go to the back of the book and check all of your answers. Overall, I think this is a really amazing book. Um, I, I think it would be really cool if like, there was a course offered that everyone in the world had to take where they had to uh, do this type of math, right? I mean, it's, it has really, really useful stuff um, that I think uh, people should know. Um, most of the problems, you know, if you, if you know math, you can do pretty much everything in this book. It's all just basic arithmetic. Um, but I bet a lot of people can't do stuff like this, right? Because you do need to know how to work with percents, and you need to have uh, a little bit of mathematical maturity to actually go through and carefully read all the problems and think about what they're asking. Anyways, a uh, really great book. Again, it's called The Problem in Practice, Arithmetic's Advanced Book. It's written by Smith, Luce, and Morse. That's it.